Hi guys, how you doing? I hope we're good. Welcome to this week's weekly analysis. Um, let's go straight to the point. I'm not going to be wasting a lot of time in this video. It's going to be a very short one. I just want to talk about something. So last week I told you I was looking for a break of this area which we got here. I told you guys to look forward to this other block area, which it did touch as a retest of this trend line. And then if you carried it all the way to this, you got your TP1 and TP2. So you should have got this move here. Then another move downward has happened. So I'm waiting to see what's going to happen here because I have a break of this uptrend here. So this can still come down. So I'm waiting to see what happens here at this other block area right here. So if this comes here and react and gives me a break of structure to the downside, I'm still going to sell maybe to around this area. But if not, I'm going to wait for a break of this area and a retest to carry it to this black line. But let's see what happens. Like I, like I always say, guys, wait for your confirmations. Gcard, which I told you I was waiting for, guys, if you took this trade, I'm still in this trade. It's still active. It's not yet at my TP, but I'm waiting. If you remember, I told you I have a great impulse here, and I'm waiting for this to come down here, which it did. It almost hit our stop loss set. It's some pips away. Trust your analysis, guys. Always trust your analysis. So this did what we wanted. I told you I was waiting for it. It did. Got me in. When I had a break and a retest right here of this area, I went in on higher lot size and I'm still in the trade at least up to here. I've taken a TP of this first move. If you do a point A to point B of this, right? I have a TP2 already hit for my higher lot size trade, right? But the small one, the 0.5% of my account I took that got activated on the other block entry is still on. I wanted to get back to this other block here. Then I see the reaction to see if I'm still going to sell because don't forget, guys, we still have a bigger impulse here that is meant to be filled. Since the market broke this area, it does not come back to fill it. So this market can still sell all the way down here to come and hit this. I'm still waiting for this. This is another area I'm looking forward to. Once the market comes back here, I'm looking to buy all the way up here. But let's see. But right now, that doesn't mean we won't have our small reaction here which has already given us enough money so that's that on jika so i'm waiting so what i'll be looking forward to right now is i will have a, a sell on this other block a little bit because we have a liquidity here so you don't want this to be tight you know let's see if it can get you in then maybe you can try and see if you can sell I still know this is going to like come down to feel this, but I don't want to be too greedy, guys. This is going to be a long ride down, but before I'm going to go in deep on this trade, once it gets here, yeah, I'm going to wait to see the reaction on the lower time frame. If I get a break of structure and you know it moved down, I'm going to join it and carry it all the way down here. But like I said always remember what i always say wait for the confirmation so guys i hope you're making money Iri, you do we told you we're looking for sales too i hope you got these moves are very good point a to point b we got a very good peeps here i already removed it but you know like i said from here was where we entered a little uh stop loss here almost got there but no after I broke here, a retest, stop loss here, and your TP will be, you can make your first TP here, TP2. So both are already hit, TP1 and TP2 already hit. So I know this is actually meant to come all the way to this trend line, right? But I already got my money here. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see what the market wants to do. Right now, I don't have any buyers on UAUD. I just showed you this to see what I told you last week is going to happen, actually happen. So I don't have any buyers on it. I'm going to move that down here. So gold, we had this trend line. If you remember, gold area is the, I told you I was waiting for a break and which we had here, a break of structure happened here, right? 
he broke it, came back for a retest. But if you took this trade all the way here, you will be stopped out because it came to, it actually came to the stop loss area. All right. Although I was concentrating on GCAD and Euro UD, I told you I'm skeptical about USD trade. If you watch that video, you can go back to my last week video. I said all this. I told you I'm skeptical. I'm not just going to jump into any USD trade. Right. But some people still make some good money on Euro USD. Good luck to them. But on gold, rather, good luck to them. But as for me, I did not take any USD trade. But right now, I'm actually interested because right now the price is eating my daily trend line, which I'm expecting a rejection of. of. But I'm not going to take it until I see a break and a retest, maybe from this trend line here. But let's see. Like I used to say, let's see. Confirmations first, guys. So what are the pairs? So let me go over GJ and EJ2. I told you we're looking for sales. If you did your point A to point B here, yeah, we had a good trade that gave us, that gave you, you know, would like give you good money. If you, after this came to point B and gave you a point C, if you entered at the other block here, yeah, you should have made the good money here. Yeah. But then if you missed it, another opportunity is here. Yeah, we have a gap to be filled, right? So this is a good trade to, to be taken maybe around this area a little bit. Do we have a liquidity here that might be swiped? But what I know is that this gap is going to be filled. So let's see what happens. But I'm looking for a sell on GJ actually, but I'm not going to take it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to have this little trend line here, guys. Right, I'm going to have this. So what I will be looking forward to is for price to come here, break this, retest it, right? Break it and retest it. Then I'm going to sell all the way down here. Are we together? I'm going to sell all the way down here. So I'm looking for a sell on GJ. I'm looking for a sell on G card. Like I said, after it comes to this other block, I'm waiting for a reaction. Let's see what happens. Nas already gave me my trade. I don't have a bias right now. I'm still looking for, you know, confirmations for Nas. I need to see what is, I don't know what the next move will be. We already had uh, our move completed. So I don't have any bias on Nas as well. Let me just move it down as well to go and meet Hero Hold. So guys, I only have bias on EJ, GJ, and uh, GCAD, guys. These are the three I have buyers on. I'm looking for a sell on GCAD. I'm looking for a sell on GJ. I'm looking for a sell on EJ. Right. EJ2 broke a level here. Uh, EJ broke a level here, which is it's retested right now. So you can look forward to maybe come to the 15 minute as well, you know. And draw a trend line like this, wait for a break and retest of that trend line, right? To join a cell. So, what you can do right now is since we have a break of structure, you can have a point A to point B, right? So, if this can come to maybe this broken level here, we have a broken level here that might be retested at the 61.8 area. All right. So, okay, perfect. I like this. This is a good area. So if this can come here, you can have something like this, maybe a good sell. Mm, not too tight stop loss, then you can move it TP1 and TP2. You know, but like I said, wait for a break of this trend line and a retest before you take it. Like, so I have a sell on EJ, I have a sell on GJ, I have a sell on GCAD. But like I said, Wait for those confirmations, guys. Wait for those confirmations. I hope you are gaining. I hope you're learning. I hope you're making some money. If you know about trading before, all these things I'm giving you should be simple. But if you don't know and you need help, reach out to me. I have a mentorship program I run where I, you know, some series of course playlists you go over, I answer your questions, you know, and help you each step of the way. So reach out to me. Thank you guys for all this. Trust and thank you for your birthday messages. Thank you for everything you've been doing. I love you all. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you for everything.
I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you guys next week.